Hey, good morning and welcome into the space, the space where we gather together for prayer. We gather in the name of Jesus. So I welcome you in the name of Jesus who's gathered with us this morning is being part of what we're doing, not only just as we come to prayer, but as we go through the day. So I'm really glad to have everyone here and, and know that you're that you're well and you've had a good night's rest and are ready now to to get ourselves together. Good morning, Janice. Good to see you. Hope that you are well. And for all of those who are out there joining us this morning, liking it. Okay. Let us uh, get ourselves ready by setting our, our minds up for what's the reality that we sit in. So we'll take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. And just close our eyes for a second and say, okay, Lord Jesus, I'm with you. I know you're present, that you're a true reality, and because you said you would be with us till the end of the age, you said that wherever two or more are gathered in my name, and there's certainly two or more gathered in my name. Good morning, Con. Glad to see you with us this morning. Hope that you're doing well, family. Glad you out of quarantine and getting back to your normal routine. All right, let us just get into our first prayer this morning. Set us up. This is the first Sunday. I mean, this is the first week of after Epiphany. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river, Jordan proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Okay. Our first reading this morning comes from Psalm 119, 1 through 24. Let's listen to these words. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart, who do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart. When I learn your righteous ordinances, I will observe your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant so that I may live and observe your word. Open my eyes so that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I live as an alien in the land. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones who wander from your commandments. Take away from me their scorn and contempt, for I have kept your decrees. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servants will meditate on your statutes. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. This is the psalm that we're reading this morning. And it reminds us to, to stay true to our Lord, to stay true to him and continue to follow in that path that he has set for us out there. Our next reading comes from Mark chapter 1, verses 29 through 45. 
So let us listen to these words. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And then her fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. And Simon and his com companions hunted for him. And when they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. And he answered, Let us go on to the neighboring town so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. A leper came to him, begging him, and kneeling, he said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And after sternly warning him, he sent him, Away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word, so that Jesus could no longer go into the town openly, but stayed out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. This is the word of God for the people of God, let us say. Thanks be to God. And God is certainly wonderful and great. And these, these expressions of what Jesus is doing is, is really something terrific. So keep us you know, seeing that and thanking God for, for what he's doing. Okay, let us just get started here with some prayer. Get this set up right. Okay. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. Show us your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. We pray for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. We pray for this day and are going into it. Bless the labor of our hands and minds so that they may add to your glory. May our every step and action be a witness to our love for you and for our neighbor. We pray for this community, for the nation and the world, for all who work for justice and freedom and peace. We pray for reconciliation, for hate and violence to be banished from this land. We pray for Reliance and Rights Chapel Charge, for the Virginia Annual Conference, for our Bishop Sharma Lewis, for the Global United Methodist Church, and for all your churches that witness to your glory. We pray that all who profess and confess themselves to be Christians may be led into the ways of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in the righteousness of life.
We pray for our world this time of challenge in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. For those who lead us through this crisis, for the doctors and nurses overwhelmed by the numbers, for those quarantined, for those who are suffering with the virus, for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for our world this time of challenge in the face of the social unrest brought on by divisiveness, systemic racial injustices, and hatred for the other. We pray for all those who are peacemakers and for those who seek to end injustices. We pray for children, youth, and young adults growing up in a unsteady and confusing world, may they find your path. Lord Jesus, lead them away from the false promises of the world. We pray for your mercy on those of our families and communities whose increasing years have brought them weakness, distress, or isolation. Help us to be their helpers and caretakers. Increase their faith and assurance of your love. We also pray for forgiveness of our sins. Let us pray this together. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold your spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life through the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now let us, us people of God, pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Again, my friends, I'm glad that we're together this morning in prayer and we have this time to, to gather this way. And I thank God for giving this opportunity, This because it certainly comes from him and no other. I pray for a safe day for you. I pray that you stay safe and that we remember just to take care of each other. That's our Christian calling, is to take care of each other as we go through this day. We'll wear our masks, and we'll wash our hands each time we come back into the house. And we'll we'll try to avoid those places where people are gathering, especially those who are gathering without masks. Unfortunately, there's just too many places. So just be be careful, my friends. And uh, the vaccine is becoming more and more available. I know that uh, I'm trying to get uh, appointments for Regina and I, because I know that the they're distributing it starting today in this area. It has just sort of uh, been frustrating. It's been confusing to uh, find the proper place where to register to go in and, and get shots. To, uh, apparently our doctors and, and, and a lot of other uh, health care helpers don't know anything, don't have the information. And it's all coming through primarily through the, the, the different health organizations for us here in uh the Frederick County, Winchester, um, this upper Shenandoah Valley area, it is the the Lord Fairfax Health District is, is where we you get the most information. If you need to have information for someone that you you know that's over seventy five or a health worker or something like that, you don't have that, please contact me. Send me a send me a, a email or talk contact me by. Um, uh, Facebook Messenger, that, and uh, I will I will help you get that information. 
My friends, take care. God bless. Let us close with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth in the age to come. Life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Just one last notice. I, again, I'm trying to put together a Bible study if you're interested uh, because of people who work and such like that. I'll probably do it towards the evening sometime. Um, I've only gotten one person who's shown interest so far, but if you're interested, please let me know um, and we'll work it out so that we can do it on Zoom or, or some other similar platform if, if that's necessary. We'll, we'll do what we need to do to try to continue to grow in understanding and, and being met, meeting and gathering together like this. Well, take care, my friends. God bless you. Hope that you continue to be well and, and healthy this day. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Day by day And with each passing moment trials here, trusting in the Father's wise bestowal of no cause for worry or for fear. Ease your heart is kind beyond all measure, is unto each day what Oh Lord, that I lose, not face me.